Hey guys, welcome to your reading. Okay, so today's reading is going to be very interesting. It is all about what gets them excited about you. So something that's going to be fun about this reading is I made some new channel messages that we have not seen before. Okay, so it's going to be really interesting. So if you guys have never been to a pick a card, what you are going to do is you're going to pick one of these cards. Okay, so whatever one you like, whatever one you're intuitively being pulled to. So this one is group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. And I will go ahead and put the timestamps down below and you guys can go there and I will see you in your reading. Hey guys, welcome to your reading. Okay, so if you just want to go ahead and relax and get super comfortable, we are going to discover what gets them excited about you. Okay, so if, if you chose number one, there is definitely kind of some freaky energy here with obedience. Um, so we'll get deeper into that. There could be <clears throat> something about you that's kind of like, it's this interesting like feeling of wanting you and they only want your eyes to be looking at them okay so it's this intense energy of they almost get excited when they when you're obedient to them when they have some kind of control over you I'm not saying like full-on like they want to control your life but there could be like an element here of just finding it very sexy or very hot like um if you're kind of relax and you give this person kind of like a certain amount of control or energy here okay but that's just a little peek so we need to go deeper and let's get some astrology oh oh this is interesting we have the 12th house of neptune and we have pisces and we have neptune so this is all pisces here and then we have cancer and then we have the fourth house of cancer okay so it's just straight up emotions and feelings here some of you guys might connect with this energy but it's not that much energy it's only water energy so this could really be talking about emotions and feelings okay so when we're looking at this at a perspective like a perspective of what gets them excited about you um Pisces energy to me would be the ultimate um, melting of two people, okay? Where you're like all your walls, all of your um, anything that you're like scared of or anything that you're holding back and you don't want to just release and let that go. Like Pisces energy could really come in and melt all of those barriers and Pisces energy, when we're looking at it, like, sexually, like, what is, like, excites this person, like, that submissive, sexual, intuitive energy that you have just drives this person fucking crazy, and so maybe that is why they have such a strong desire to want to, like, almost make you obedient or just, like, have you, want you, I own you, I need you type of feeling because, you know, you're very pure, and so that could may maybe be hot to them too, to see you kind of like more wild, you know what I mean? Um, we have cancer, so it's telling me there's a lot of deep feelings, there's a lot of deep emotions, and this is all water, so water, like, water is wet, so obviously <clears throat> there's something about you that gets them really excited about how wet you could get, or how wet you could get them, depending on, you know, what you're into, so, um, there's definitely a huge element here of water. So we're going to get more into it. We're going to use some tarot on what gets them excited about you. We have the four of cups. So another water card. We have the nine of wands. Red hair in both of these pictures with the girls. Like, so there could maybe some of you guys have fire energy in your chart, or they might. Okay, so we have the moon. So we already had the moon twice over here, and we have the stars. Okay, so guys, 
Um, what I want to do more than anything is like I really want to look at these pictures because you know that like that quote it's like a pictures can tell you a thousand words. Um, nine of wands. What's going on here? Um, if we're looking at the image, like the image here, there is like, damn. He, I think he's just wrapped around her finger like the way she's kind of like sensual, like holding her neck like his neck and kind of caressing like his chest and she's just like comfortable and like comfortably like putting her weight on him and she doesn't care you know like she's kind of just into the moment and it's kind of just them and there's other stuff going on like there's a lot of other things going on but there's really deep eye contact so I feel like something that really gets them excited about you is like when you guys are with each other I feel like they are just like their eyes are on you they want you and it's almost like nobody else is there you know type of feeling like when things are going on but it's just truly this is just you and this person we have the four of cups here so you know it's interesting because the four of cups is kind of you know sometimes that energy like no I'm good like I'm hard to get so this person could be like excited over the fact that you're hard to get or maybe you're the type of person that isn't constantly hooking up with other people and they're able to tell and like they're able to feel that so it makes it like that much more like interesting and that much more sexy and that much more appealing to them and it kind of feels like they're meeting up in secret or they're meeting up at night so maybe you guys like typically hang out at night or there's something Guys, there's something here about night, like nighttime. We have the moon, we have the stars. This is kind of giving me nighttime vibes. And then we have the moon over here. And like Pisces, like I feel like Pisces is very dreamy colors, like purple, blue, kind of like this energy is very uh, Neptunian. So, and there's a huge emphasis on like breasts here and it's interesting because there is a lot of naughty cards <laughs> in that deck and there's not that much nudity here so i was like you know she's not showing that much and so there's another element here of you not showing everything or you kind of teasing or you not being completely open and that could be something else that gets them quite excited you know maybe they like to be teased or maybe they like something that's hard to get you know maybe it's easy for this person to get someone but with you you're a little bit harder <laughs> to get so we have the moon and the moon is illusion it's fantasy like are we seeing things clearly and so what i feel like gets them excited about you is you have like a very like damn guys <laughs> I feel like when you hook up with them or like when they think about hooking up with you, there's like a very dreamy feeling to hooking up with you. It's like very erotic. It's like very soft. It's very spiritual. So it's comforting too. And so I feel like this person is like comfortable. Like you could be comfortable in your body or you could be comfortable in your sex appeal or you're doing something with this person that they are wanting to be you know released and like letting go and enjoying this moment with you and um yeah and obviously like we have to talk about like he's like sucking on her nipples so that definitely could be something that um excites this person about you you know maybe that's something you guys did or this, that's something that this person wants to do with you um we have the stars so um <laughs> so looking at this image like i just feel like this person could really like messy wet like they're fucking into that like they're not grossed out like maybe they just fully want to be like like they like the senses they like the smells they like the taste like they're fully into everything about you and this guy is just completely like melted by her like and he's just here for it and he's not going anywhere he's so relaxed so there's something very relaxing about you and there's something very relaxing about I don't I mean it's relax it's so like stimulating and it's really like interesting and sexy but it's comfortable because there's like a lot of feelings here so it feels like safe maybe you know like it feels safe to express these desires so 
let's go ahead and get some channeled messages on um what gets them excited about you okay so we have on your knees so maybe you went on your knees for this person or they just picture you on your knees you know and maybe that's why too we got obedience like that's like maybe fucking super hot to them to see you doing that and also obviously on your knees there could be like very strong eye contact and then I was also kind of feeling like you putting up your hair you know like that could definitely be something they really like like seeing you fully like that let's get some more some more stuff we have aggressive okay so what gets them excited about you okay so maybe if you're ever showing your aggressive side like that could be definitely super sexy to them and they could want to show their aggressive side towards you okay let's get some more so you're beautiful the way you are oh, sorry <laughs> um so or that you are beautiful as you are so there's actually something very like sweet and special that happens when they get excited about you because they love like your body they love like if you feel like you have any imperfections or like you're too big you're too skinny like this you're whatever like we have these things sometimes right and this person like no guys like you are so fucking sexy and so beautiful as you are so this person also just has a lot of deep feelings for you so we have hair pulling so there is like this like maybe he does this person doesn't express this to you because it's a very interesting mix because when i'm feeling like the energy of like when <laughs> like i'll just you know say it so like on your knees aggressive hair pulling like that it's giving kind of fire energy right like it's kind of fiery kind of like or maybe even like pluton like uh pluto scorpio vibes but it's something that's so interesting about you is like i feel like you're so precious you're so sexy you're so intuitive you're like almost like spiritually able to read and tap into this person and it like drives this person crazy and they want to see they want to see it messy they want to see it wet they love seeing you in your most authentic and real self and they just feel like you are fucking beautiful as you are okay so let's go ahead and get some more energy what gets them excited about you so i want to make you um you know <laughs> you know so there's definitely this element um <laughs> this person could like on your knees like they could want you on their knees but there could be an element of like them wanting to be down on you like wanting to please you spending a lot of time on you like fully emerging and wanting to become with one with you because when we're looking at the 12th house the 12th house is in the chart where we tra transcend and then we like pretty much like you know go back into the universe type of thing so there's this feeling of it's almost like the ultimate release right and so there's this uh, this person like what what gets them so excited about you is like they just want to release with you okay and like I feel like you could just make this person like orgasm so fucking hard if I'm being honest so we have you smell so good so um yeah there's a lot of sensual energy like I feel like they're really into like wanting to taste you wanting to smell you all these things are definitely things that turn this person on we have your ascendant sign so um this person could just be super attracted to your rising sign okay so maybe when you first met it's like your body language the way you're communicating um the way you you are perceiving the world like the way you are going out into the world the way you're talking to other people so these are all things that could have actually been <laughs> making this person like secretly excited like your physical body that's the ascendant and that is just something that is driving this person like so fucking crazy okay so we have i want to forget the world and just be with you so yeah and i feel like over here with the nine of wands when i was looking at the image it was like two people were together and the whole world was just like going like time is going but at the same time, like time is stopping 
and it's just like you and this person so you have this amazing effect on this person of making time fucking stop and damn guys like you are just super sexy so what i want to do because i'm just loving loving your energy is i want to pull one card and just say like tell me your like just tell me something like so fucking deeply that gets this person excited okay so let's see what comes through so what is something that gets this person so excited this is interesting we have the ten of cups You know, what I feel for that is she's like, here, like, I have this. And, like, he's walking away from her. But what I feel like gets them the most fucking excited about you is when you are saying to them, like, this is what I fucking like. This is what turns me on. You are driving me crazy in this way. Like, I'm loving this with you. So, there's... Yeah, so when you are wanting them, when you are wanting to please them, to tell them, to communicate with them, when you are showing your intensity, when you're cho when you're showing like your aggressive side or when you're showing like that passionate side, that you know, that fucking drives them crazy. And also her body, like her whole body is just super sexy. She's wearing like a cute anklet, a um a pretty necklace. She has like kind of like thicker like sexy legs, like nice breasts very like feminine and the way like her clothes like her little you know dress is kind of falling over and she's just like doesn't care so there's something about you just being like very like you know comfortable in your skin that excites this person okay so i hope that connected with you i hope it resonated if it did i hope you liked the video and i hope to see you very soon bye Hey guys, welcome to your reading. Okay, if you want to go ahead and just get super relaxed and super comfortable, this reading is going to be like naughty. So I hope you're down for it. Obviously, I'm sure you are if you're here. Okay, so we have number 37 cycles. Okay, what is getting them excited about you? This energy here is mystical. It's dreamy it's complicated and it's unknown so there's something very intriguing that you have that i feel like this person hasn't been with other people like you sexually before and you could definitely be you know wanting like this person is wanting to explore more like sexually with you and when like what is getting them excited about you is like you could be taking them to other places their head could be in the clouds their head you know could be imagining and fantasizing about a lot of different things so let's go ahead and get deeper into it i had a feeling gemini was going to come out okay so we have gemini we have aries we have venus we have uh, the fourth house and we have the sixth house okay so what i'm seeing here with the fourth house is like that's what this is you know this is the moon so there's a big connection here with moon, like moon energy with feelings um i feel like there's something about you that you have very sexy like eye contact okay like you could read into this person you could feel this person you know what they want sexually you know what that excites them sexually and so and you know what happens is like that excites them more because you're in, in super sexy intuitive ability to read this person the fourth house is cancer energy it's a breast it's a mother so you could have like super sexy breasts and that's something that turns this person on and the fourth house too it's water it's wet you know and so you could just you know you could get super wet and that could make this person excited or, you know, you know what I'm saying. So we have the sixth house. The sixth house is Virgo. It's detail oriented. It's clean. It's what we do every single day. And so when we're looking at that, on what gets them excited about you, they could like how maybe you're just like working every day and that's a turn on kind of, you know, to see you like on your grind. Or you could be working out every day. 
also like Virgo energy is the virgin and it's almost giving like sex slave energy like not saying that you're a sex slave or that this person wants you to be but there's something like intriguingly like submissive about Virgo energy when we're looking at it like that so that could definitely be a turn on that you do even if you're not necessarily like trying to do that you could have like an element here of that going on we have Venus, so your beauty, your aesthetic, the way you look, the way you're communicating, your kind of charismatic energy, and your actual Venus sign, okay? So you want to look at your Venus sign. That gets them excited. We have Aries. Aries is passion or force. It's Mars. It's how we get things done, and it's it's on fire, you know? So there's something about like what gets them so excited about you is when maybe when you're spicy, okay? Maybe when you're like talking shit back to this person or you're, you know, messing around with this person or they see like this super playful, like super like sexy, fiery side of you, that could be quite a turn on to this person. We have Gemini. So oh my gosh gemini energy it could be so freaky like if you're looking at it like sexually because it's um communicating and it's talking so it could be like dirty talk and it's you know rules the fingers and the hands so there's a possibility that maybe like this person pictures you like sucking on their fingers or you know like just hand jobs fingering like anything to do with like the hands and the fingers i'm i like, I don't want to be vulgar, you know? I want to explain this, like, as softly as possible, but we're all adults here, so it's okay. So let's go ahead and get deeper into this, group number two. Okay, Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords. That is some freaky ass shit. That is hair pulling she's like art she's sexy she's like not giving a fuck like people are tripping like there is like almost something just strikingly like tempting and naughty and we have the devil here so there's a lot of sexual energy and obviously you're watching this like girl i know <laughs> okay so we have the queen of chalices okay so there's like an undeniable energy we have cups and cups to start the beginning to end the reading there could be something about you where you could excite this person by like how wet you get or how often you could make them orgasm or um the way you can bring out feelings and emotions the way your heart can like make their heart like light up like on fire and also have like a lot of emotions coming through so it's not just like um like an energy of like let's just hook up because like it, it's a hookup no it's not like that here there's a lot of feelings here the ace of cups is like a beginning of a new like love you know and you can definitely like be spark even if you, this is an old relationship or a new relationship there's like a there's a spark here of like new emotions and it's very passionate like this is a very passionate energy a sweet energy like a, an emergence of just two people really like enjoying each other okay so there's just something about you that is could be like sensual that feels nice that just feels super like good to be around the knight of swords so <laughs> this is just like freaky to me so uh, let's just look at the image so obviously what's getting them excited about you is like there could be aggressive energy like hair pulling light slapping uh dirty talk communication that's swords that's you that's communication you know and it's fast communication so there could even be an element that you're like sexting or texting or posting a picture and that's like instantly turning them on instantly making them excited um you could have possibly done this position with them or this is something that they want to do with you okay okay so we have the devil so the devil in the tarot you know that feeling of like you see something like whether i don't know it's like let's just say it's a person and it's just someone you fucking want so bad 
but they're so bad for you but like to be honest you don't really give a fuck because you're addicted that's what you do to this person so and not saying that you're bad for this person but maybe it's bad with how bad they want you you know maybe it's bad with how addicted it is like the devil energy it's like it will it knows like it doesn't care it will if it wants something i will do it like i will manipulate it i will f it up i want this thing so there is like something here that It's making me feel almost like a moon Pluto connection, like in a sinistry or composite chart, or he could have it, you could have it, or you know, she. It's just like the most in de intense, deep feelings of like intensity. And like this intensity is also um, not only like sexually, but like it's emotional as well. <clears throat> we have the queen of chalices. So I feel like what gets them excited about you is like you're totally intuitive you're all-knowing you are spiritual you are compassionate you i would say you're just super sexy like super soft like beautiful body like very nice to be around just like i like to explain the queen of cups of the feeling of like someone putting like a really warm like blanket on you and everything is right in the world so you and and that's kind of what I'm feeling here. So it's like, there's something really amazing about you of like you just also being like a caretaker. Not saying that that like excites them or turns them on, but I do feel like that's something that really like feels like their heart, you know? So let's go ahead and get some more energy here. I can't sleep. I keep thinking about you. So that's interesting because this is the moon, it's nighttime, so um, like fourth house, that's the bottom of the chart. If someone was, is born with the sun in the fourth house, they're most likely born um, at midnight, you know, like from 11 to like midnight or so, like around that area. So there's definitely some really late night thoughts that are happening. So we have, I want to forget the world and just be with you. So what could excite them like if we're looking at that sexually like if you guys hook up or if they think about hooking up with you there could be an element here of like them just not giving a fuck like and it's just you and them and they're replaying like these scenarios these fantasies and they're getting lost you know they could be this could be representing like all the different fantasies you know they could be going from this one to that one and it's not enough though because they need it in person they want you physically the devil is a physical card like <clears throat> and the devil is actually represents humor which is kind of funny so there could be something like cute about you like your personality like maybe you make this person laugh or you're silly at times or you do something to this person like that makes them like feel like happy or you know makes them giggle i'll never forget you so whatever you did to this person sexually, you just like totally made it so they can't forget you. You know, it's made them, I want to forget the world. I'll never forget you. There's a lot of energy here of like wanting to forget. So that's really interesting. So you can make them like forget like painful things like of the past and hurts and things that they've been through. And like being with you could be quite healing and loving and nurturing because we're seeing here this beautiful a queen of cups energy where she's nurturing him and he's just surrendering and letting go you're the only one i see this was literally all emotion so i'm gonna try to get a little bit more like sexual energy here but it's just this person has a lot of feelings for you so it's not just you know it's not just sex there's so much more here we have you feel so good so <laughs> This is something they think about, something they fantasize about. So we have sexy eyes. So obviously, you know, if you hooked up with this person, you could just have like the most sexiest eyes and they could be getting lost into your eyes and like lost into the moment. Um, also, if they look at pictures of you, you know, kind of check you out or just even when they're simply with you and you're with each other in person. There's something here about your eyes and them being super sexy and like making them excited. Maybe there's like a twinkle of like 
temptation in your eyes or exotic energy in your eyes or siren to bambi like eyes or just like you're totally giving them like sexual eyes <laughs> type of thing so you guys are super sexy not only are they like sexually very much into you especially with the devil coming out like that's very extreme um but there's a lot of feelings here okay so they do feel very deeply for you so i hope this connected with you i hope it resonated i'm so grateful that you're here on my channel and i hope to see you very soon bye hey guys welcome to your reading okay so hmm there's a lot of fire, there's a lot of passion, and there's a lot of things that we need to talk about. So group number three, what gets them excited about you? Honestly, <laughs> it's giving me like eighth house vibes. It's giving me scorpionic vibes. It's, it's giving me karmic vibes. Like for some of you, maybe you, you know, this isn't your first time around with this person or if this is a new connection, why does it still feel so intense? Why does it feel so fiery? Why does it feel so... Like... Can we get closer? Like, there, uh, there's, there's this strong need and desire to get closer together. So what is getting them so excited about you is like... What I feel like happens here is like honesty comes in here, like um, being honest with your desires, being with honest with what turns you on, being honest with your feelings. And there's something that happens that it's like you light this person's heart on fire, like you get their heart going, you get their pulse going, like you get their mind racing. OK, so we're going to get more into this. Okay, so we have the first house, we have the 10th house. Those are both houses that are seen, okay? Those are houses that are the most out there. We have the North Node, so that's where we're going in life. That's our direction. And we have Cancer, and we have Sagittarius. Okay, so starting with Cancer, um, Cancer is the moon, Cancer is the emotions, Cancer is where we're gonna love and share and protect you know cancer likes to protect their home and their feelings so what could happen here and like what gets them excited you could let them reveal these emotions reveal these desires reveal and like be honest about the things that turn them on or that excite them uh cancer rules the breasts so there could be just soup, something so sexy about your breasts, the size of your breasts, like your nipples, like the way they look, you know, that could just be so sexy and get this person super excited. We have Sagittarius. So um, Sagittarius is a, an adventure and it's exciting and we're learning and we're growing and it's higher knowledge and like, come on guys, let, let's take the leap, you know, like that's Sagittarius energy and it's hopeful and it's funny and so... What gets them excited is like, I actually feel like it's nice to be around you, group number three. Like, I feel like you're super fun and warm. So there's something about you being warm, like your, your energy being warm, like vivacious, kind of like the queen of wands or something where it feels so good to be around you. There's something about you being popular. So I feel like what could excite them too is like, you have a lot of eyes on you, group number three. You get a lot of attention, you get a lot of looks and like, in this weird way that could turn this person on because you know they could just feel like yeah i know i have this person or you know there's something with that too though sometimes jealousy can come so i'm not sure if that's gonna be in here but we'll see um we have the north node so you know where it is in the chart like that's where we're going we're focused and that's that's it you know like that's why we came here like on earth like to fulfill our north node like if we're looking at it from astrology so this person could feel like so divinely like connected to you i want to follow you you're the passion of where i want to go how i want to be and you are what excites me and it's your physical body too it's your ascendant so guys like you're you'll have to look at your ascendant but with the ascendant that's when we're going on a first date or you're kind of like meeting someone 
you're really showing that personality like big time you know so the way you're mo moving the way you're communicating the way you're talking your physical body so like the physical body is the ascendant that is something that excites this person so much we have the 10th house which is the career success status so there's like almost like a turn on to be like having you by their side 10th house energy capricorn daddy okay this is daddy fucking energy here so maybe you call this person daddy okay maybe or maybe they just feel like more accomplished to be with you and uh, Capricorn energy is ruled by the devil in the tarot deck and that has the chain so there could be like kinkiness, naughtiness, um, like obedient, dominance type of energy that could be turning this person on. We have the Knight of Cups. We have Temperance. Hey guys. We have the two of cups. Okay, so that is a lot of water energy. So we could be tapping into some water energy or we could simply be like this person could just have a lot of fucking feelings for you. I feel like everything is kind of falling all over. So there is like this intensity here. Okay, so let's start off with the night of chalices so what i see here with that is she's alluring she's tempting she's sexy and she's wet like she's in the water and she's not really caring and she's in touch with the moment and the feeling so you could definitely have this energy you know like you could be very tempting very sexy like super hypnotic like a very hypnotic energy like an exotic energy where it's like, I, you know, I want this. Like, you are actually, like, coming and, like, pulling this person into you. Even if you're not trying, but you could try a little bit. Like, even if you're posting anything or the way you're communicating, the way you're acting, your physical body, your ascendant, is something that is very much driving this person crazy. We have temperance. So temperance, you know, it's very harmonious, um, blending of two energies. So you know, you could just, something that could excite them is, like, you could be able to, like, see both sides of the situation, able to diffuse the situation. Maybe you're just able to completely, like, make this per person melt, like, with your touch. You could be extremely sensual as well. Very feminine, like, very pretty, like, pretty hands, like, pretty arms like very pretty fingers is something that this person likes about you we have the two of cups so that's like the soulmate card you know it's deep feelings it's deep bond uh bonding like we're communicating we are seeing each other eye to eye we are on the same level so um you know i feel like that this person really likes it about you and there's just so much energy here of water, so there's something super sexy about, like, you being wet or this person being wet or it possibly just being, like, so emotionally, like, wet and loving, you know? We have the night, or uh, let's do the fool. So the fool is, like, that leap, you know? Like, let's take the fucking leap. I don't really know. I've never done this before, but all I know is I can't stay here anymore, you know? Or I want this. Like, I want this new adventure. So there could be something really, like, fun, interesting different about you maybe they haven't dated someone like you they haven't been around someone like you or it's just the feeling of like i'm kind of willing to do whatever it takes like i'm willing to jump off this cliff i'm willing to to go for it and i'm willing to be honest like as long as you'll be there so it's like i feel like this person wants to take the leap and they want to be with you and they do have these extreme feelings for you but it's like kind of like will you be there to catch me type of feeling we have a nine of cups so the nine of chalices so that's like the wish card the yes card it's like the card you want to be honest i really like that card so but looking at this image there's something super sexy about her so what gets them excited about you you could have just like a very sexy back you know like possibly back dimples you could be 
very like delicate like in your um fingers and your hands you could just have super like sexy feet and be kind of like open and kind of like open to this energy and there's something so sexy and like so profound about you about like you being like hypnotic you pulling this energy in you having a lot of attention you having a lot of people like looking at you wanting you like talking about you okay so let's get some more energy here we have looking at pictures okay we have dirty talk we have pretty makeup We have pretty face, we have music, and we have pretty and sexy nipples. So that's interesting because we, I believe we said that in the beginning with cancer. So this person is really like in love with your chest and your nipples and they find your breasts to be like super fucking sexy. This person is definitely looking at your pictures, okay, and that's definitely getting them excited. Um, we have dirty talk, so if you ever you know, how dirty talk in person or over text or even like you just talking like normally, I feel like this person kind of has like a sexual mind and they're kind of creating some interesting like fantasies here. And we have honesty and honesty is where we're going to communicate. So there's something here that needs to be communicated. I feel like we have pretty makeup. So this person likes how you do your makeup, whether you do like full on glam makeup or you're just doing like a pretty like base and like blush, maybe like some mascara or something. There's something about you having a beautiful face. So we have pretty face as well. So there's this huge emphasis on your face, okay? Just being super gorgeous and something that turns this person on. And then we have music. So maybe this person, like, you hooked up and there was music on. Or they want to share their feelings through music. Or you guys were together and you were listening to a lot of music or sharing music with each other, okay? And with music too, like, that is again communication talking being honest so there's a deep need and feel like to let out these emotions and to let out these feelings okay you guys i hope that connected with you i hope it resonated i'm so grateful that you are here on my channel and i hope to see you very soon bye hey guys welcome to your reading Okay, if you want to go ahead and get relaxed, get comfortable as we dive into what gets them excited about you. So, group number four, we have the energy of 27 hope. Okay, so I actually feel like this person has a lot of feelings for you. And you could be hoping that you get closer or hoping they reach out or they feel that way towards you. Or it could just be, you know, feeling hopeful for the future. You know, like my first feeling I got when I saw this card is I feel like you're an old soul or they're an old soul. And I feel like you are so, like, I'll just say it. I just feel like you are so sexy. Like you're so good at reading things sexually, intuitively, picking up on a sexual intuitive cues or being able to read this person sexually to be able to know what they like. You're able to shine like you're like this moon energy and you're able to shine out like the darkness of their secrets, their hopes, their wishes, and their desires. And you're able to light up that part of themselves. So it very like very much excites them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get deeper into it. Ooh, I love this energy. We have Gemini, we have Leo. We have the 7th house of Libra, we have the 12th house of Pisces, and we have Mars. Okay, this is very, this is very interesting. Okay, so with the 7th house of Libra, so that's um, feelings, it's relationships, it's marriage, it's where we, you know, like, it's truly like the other person, like in our astrological chart. So I feel like what is happening like what gets them excited is like you're like the ideal look that they want you're like the ideal partner whether you know we're looking at you what you do for work how you look physically how you act how you communicate these are things that this person really likes about you okay so they like that you actually fit into their like kind of fantasy of what they want in a person 
we have the 12th house. So the 12th house is the energy that is hidden from us. It's Pisces energy. It's a very special house that kind of is, it's the last house in the astrological chart. And then we like transcend and we connect back, you know, as out of kind of like this earthy experience and go more into that interdimensional place that we truly are. And so what I feel like happens here is what gets them excited about you is is the 12th house is things that we don't see and we don't really know and it's kind of things that are hidden from us so you're able to see into this person in so many different ways that lights up things that they, they didn't know before so I, we were tapping into that so you can light up to their desires you can light up their feelings and you can make them feel in ways that they've never felt before and you might actually bring out uh thoughts and desires and feelings that they didn't know they had and then when they're with you when they see you when they feel you it's like boom i fucking want this like i fucking want this so bad because we have mars mars is our drive it's our passion it's our sexual force it's how we get things done in our chart like you know how do you go about it like or that type of thing so what turns you on you really turn them on you get them excited like you are that fuel like you are that passion like you bring a lot of desire into their life they like the way you express your actual sexual nature like the way you're when you are hooking up or when they dream and like fantasize about you hooking up they like what is going on um we have leo leo energy is like so fun and positive it's the star of the show it's so popular, it's known whether like people love Leos or hate Leos, you know, they're talking about Leos, so there's this big focus on like looking at you, talking about you, you being the star, you having this focus, you also having gorgeous hair, Leo rules the hair, so the hair is beautiful, okay, like this person really loves your hair, they may be into like pulling on your hair or being like aggressive with your hair or sensual and soft with your hair. We have Gemini energy. So Gemini energy is the ultimate, like, it's just such a tease, you know? And it's communicative and it's interesting and it doesn't want to be bored. It wants to play, you know? It wants to learn and it wants to be stimulated. So when we're looking at that and, like, what gets um, them excited about you, you could stimulate their mind. You could stimulate their desires. You could, um, there could be, like, a lot of, like, fingering hand jobs sucking on fingers playing with the fingers or like teasing texting um sending pictures back and forth like those are all like gemini type things okay so let's go ahead and get deeper into it on what gets them excited about you the seven of wands the hangman The Six of Cups. And the Five of Swords. Is this person mad at you? Are you mad at them? Or are they just like sexually fucking frustrated because they want you? Because, you know, there is a little bit of, a, like, a, a little bit of, um like, tension maybe going on here. But it doesn't mean that there actually is fighting or there is conflict or anything. It could be telling us that, like, there's sexual fr frustration. Like, this person's really wanting you really bad. It's kind of causing, like, an aggressive energy or an annoyance energy. Because it's kind of like, I really want you type of feeling. I want you right now type of feeling. Seven of Wands, so what gets them excited about you? You have a very sexy back, you're very sensual, they really like your kisses, they like your tongue, they like also, you could be like whispering like sexy cute things, and she's very sensual, she's not worried like if she's like too heavy for him, or if it's okay that she's kind of like sitting on him, she's completely immersed and like enjoying this, so there's something very sexy about you just being like comfortable with you just being sexy you know and the hangman this is another energy of her just being sexy she's kind of tied up so there could be something very like interestingly like submissive about you sometimes or open to the energy this person could want to like tie you up push your hands back have you relaxed have you join enjoying this moment 
I feel like I really like your legs because the legs are just standing out so much. So I feel like what makes them excited is like they like your legs, they like your feet, they like your breasts, like they like your nipples, okay? Like the color of your nipples, your size of your nipples. Also like your smell, like I feel like they like your actual scent, they like your smell, they want it, they want it intensely type of feeling. Um, because he's looking at her and he's not going anywhere, you know, like he, he just has his eyes for her. The six of cups is a very nostalgic card. Like it's very much like, like deep, deep feelings and thinking about the past. So if you guys have hooked up, this is something that they deeply feel. They deeply get into this, like obsessively, like sexually, like fantasy. If it hasn't happened yet in the physical, um, this is something that will happen or this is something that he is or that he or she is thinking of. Okay, so it's almost just like, yeah, I'm fucking obsessed. Like, I'm really playing these feelings. I'm playing these emotions. It's super nostalgic. I believe the Six of Cups is ruled by Scorpio and Scorpio energy is where we're obsessed. Five of Swords, kind of like conflict. Like, damn, like, is there a little bit of like, maybe they like aggressive energy. Maybe they like... You know, Swords energy is also communication. They could like dirty talk. That could really make them excited. Your back is super, super sexy. This is a place that they really focus on. They look at. They want to kiss. They want to like love on. They want to like look at. They really want this part of you. So it's super sexy. So they could like possibly want you like from the back. You know, this is something that could make them very excited. I touched myself to you. Okay, definitely. Because with the Six of Cups, like, she's not, like, touching herself. But she's, like, looking back at memories and thinking about things. So this person is definitely um, touching themselves to you. We have Sexy Stomach. So there's this big emphasis, like, on your physical body. Like, your back, your legs, your stomach. And, like, your actual, like, breasts, you know. And, like, your nipples, too. We have lights on, so it's like, turn the fucking lights on, lights on, like, I want to see you, like, I want all of you, you are that light at night, and you are lighting up my deepest, darkest sexual fucking desires, so let me just see you fully, so, and why did I get aggressive saying that, it feels like there's almost an aggressive energy, or like aggressively wanting you, wanting to dominate you, or just like, you know, can we talk? Like, for some of you guys, maybe you're not talking fully, group number four, for some reason. I don't know why I'm, like, tapping into that for some of you guys. Or maybe there's just, like, feelings that need to be said or spoke about. If you only knew how much I want you, holy shit. They fucking want you so bad, and I don't feel like they're revealing this to you. But, like, they're literally, like, <laughs> they have a lot of stuff going on within them that they're thinking about. Hands, nails, fingers. Okay, so we were tapping into that with Gemini. So this person, what makes them excited is they like your fingers, they like your nails. If you get your nails done or your natural nails, they could have like ideas and thoughts of like wanting you like sucking on their fingers or vice versa or maybe like doing things in public. Like if you're in like a dress or like a skirt, they could have like certain fantasies of like wanting to please you in like a public place. We have pretty makeup. So maybe some of you guys like to do like really pretty makeup or like they like your aesthetic. They like how you put yourself together. Okay. Or even if you don't wear that much makeup, you could just have like a, just a super pretty face and do it lightly. So we have your ascendant sign. Okay. So your physical body, your ascendant, it's interesting because there was so much energy like on your breasts, like your nipples, like your, um, your legs, your stomach and your back. So your, and so it makes sense that your ascendant sign came out. So this person is gets super excited by your physical body, okay? So this person is, I feel like they're very visual in the way they get turned on um, because Leo is the sun and Leo has to shine every, like shine it, like the truth on everything, you know? And we have lights on. So it's like, uh, it's just like, I want to see you fully. Like, I love you fully. I am so sexually into you in every way so guys you really I really feel like you have this person wrapped around your finger I don't know if you know that and I don't know if they're fully showing you this because they're 
is some, you know, 12th house hidden from us. We have the, the moon energy, so that's hidden too. There's the five of swords, so there is like a little bit of like conflict or fighting sometimes. So for some of you, I feel like you do know like how bad this fucking person wants you. For some, I think it might be a little bit hidden. But I, you know, I hope this connected with you. I hope it resonated. If it did, I hope you liked the video and comment if you like. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye.